the fruit will be defined as a ripened ovary ripened ovary ovary if a fruit develops only from the ovary the fruit is called as a true fruit but if it develops from parts other, other than the ovary it is called as a false fruit if the fruit is seedless it will be called as parthenocarpic fruit. fruit okay there is a typical fruit like say i am talking about a fleshy fruit of mango which fruit are talking about fleshy fruit, fleshy fruit of mango. mango now you know what is the meaning of the word fleshy right mm -hmm. bachelo okay here we see the outermost layer which is called the epicarp okay carp means the fruit okay so we had said eucarp true fruit pseudocarp that was a false fruit then the middle layer is called what do you know mesocarp mesocarp and the innermost stony layer kadapi of the fruit wall is called as the endocarp so how many layers did i just show three, three. what are three layers epicarp mesocarp endocarp and these three layers together is called the fruit wall or the berry cup okay and then inside there will be a baby plant you know what is the baby plant called right that's called as the embryo and the kana clear everybody so typical fruit a fleshy fruit shows the presence of a seed seed which you want to study and it shows the presence of a fruit wall which is called as the pericarp and the pericarp got divided into three epi meso and endo Did you get it, everybody? Yes. Epi, meso, endo. endo. Together is called as the pericarp, or is called as the fruit wall. I want to compare the mango with the coconut. So, in the case of coconut, the outermost thin and hard layer, thin and hard layer, is called as the epicarp. I am not talking about the under ka nariya, the kada kada. I am talking about the total nariya with the fruit and the seed. Alag sa kaisa mga mi? I am talking about the whole coconut as a fruit. So outermost layer that is green, when the coconut is young, as the coconut becomes old, that be it starts turning yellow, right? And as the coconut turns old. the middle layer that is the mesocarp it becomes fibrous do you agree with me yes and that is called as a coil in local language what do you call it coil coil local english coil okay the sir ki that coil is used for washing utensils apne gaon mein राख एश को यूज करते हैं टू वॉच द यूटेंसिस जो नारियल का जो रहता है ना वो दैट कॉइल को यूज किया है ना दैट इज द इनर मोस्ट लेयर व्हिच व्हिच इज द हार्ड एंड द स्टोनी पार्ट व्हिच इज द हार्ड एंड द स्टोनी पार्ट व्हाट डू कॉल इट एंडोकार ओके एंड दीस थ्री लेयर्स टुगेदर व्हाट डू कॉल इट Very. What is the one thing that you heard in common in 
मैंगो एज वेल एज इन कोकोनट एक चीज कॉमन क्या सुना आपने आंखें दिखा दे नहीं That is the embryo. What is that? वहाँ से क्या डेवलप होगा? Embryo, नया शूट सुधर सा है। And the thing which we call malai. बोलते हैं हम लोग malai उसको। The malai part is the cellular endosperm. What's the malai part? Which one? Cellular endosome. And inside, you get the nariyal part. Is it right, Chalo? And this nariyal pani is going to be the liquid endosome. Yes, everybody. So, what is the outermost layer, Chalo? The whole fruit wall is called as the pericarp. Pericarp with the epicarp, mesocarp, and endocarp. And both the examples that I gave, the endocarp was hard and stony, so it is called the stone fruit. Okay. Now, in the case of mango, there is something. In the case of coconut, there is something special. That the endosperm is both cellular as well as liquid. So the liquid endosperm we consume, and we call it what? Nariyal pani. And the cellular endosperm we consume, eat it, and we call it what? Malai. Did you get my point? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now we are classify the fruits into how many types? Three types. I will call it that the fruit will be called as a simple fruit. Or a which type? Which one? Aggregate fruit. And the third type was which fruit? Composite. So what are three types of fruits? Simple fruits, aggregate fruit, and composite fruit. Right? Now, what is simple fruit in the chart? What I did it in the simple fruit. Yes. The first point was, it is produced from a what which a single flower. Can I have a point? What does this mean? If there is one flower, and that will result in the formation of one. What which one? Fruit. So one fruit develops from a one flower. One flower. So simple fruit ke example me one of the example is mango. So the mango in my hand has come from how many flowers? One flower. One flower. Okay. So the rule number one is that the simple fruit always develops from a single one flower. flower. Now we'll ask further question. Okay, now this particular flower, a flower has got gynoecium. Gynoecium is made up of carpels. Carpels is made up of stigma, style, and ovary. If there is a single carpel, it is called monocarpellary. More than what is called polycarpellary. Polycarpellary can either be syncarpus or it can be apocarpus. In this case, it will always be monocarpellary. First condition is what? It can be monocarpellary, and if it is not monocarpellary, the other possibility is it will be polycarpellary, and it is going to be what? Which one? Syncarpus dinosia. What is the dinosia? Which one? Syncarpus dinosia. Remember it? Okay, and if it is syncarpus. 
if it is sin carpus it is going to be polycarpulin polycarpulin means that it will have many, many carpus. carpus so minimum number it will be two maximum it could be many, many. so the possibility is either it will be g1 or it will be g2 up to many ha yaar gynosium with a single carpel or it will be gynosium with two carpels or many carpels i hope you got my point now a simple fruit simple fruit was further classified as what which you a fleshy fruit and a dry fruit so now i am classifying the simple fruit further into what types Delicious. two types what are two types Delicious. a fleshy simple fruit and a dry fruit and the dry fruit will be further classified as we will classify it as in dehiscent then we have a category called as dehiscent and the third category is schizocarpic correct everybody so from logic can you tell me what do you mean by fleshy fruit and what do you mean by dry fruit what would be fleshy fruits mesocarp will be fleshy mesocarp will be fleshy and the mesocarp can be distinguish i am sorry the pericarp can be distinguish into epicarp mesocarp and endocarp so in a fleshy fruit which fruit fleshy fruit it can be easily what distinguished distinguished as what epicarp mesocarp and endocarp I have got my point. Yes. They can be easily distinguished at epicarp, mesocarp, and endocarp. That is why it is called as which fruit? Fleshy, fleshy fruit. fruit. And in the fleshy fruit, if you see yesterday's chart, we have got many examples. What are the many examples? Which you know? We have got the true berry, pepo. Pepo diya tha maine? No. I have given only two then. What are the two ones I have given? True and berry. One was true. true. and the other is berry okay now in the case of a drupe case of a drupe the examples that you remember are one is mango and the other is coconut okay so in this particular drupes the common thing is that the endocarp is how is the endocarp is you know hard and stony and are they multi seeded or single seeded single right. seeded they are what single, single seeded. seeded so tell me two examples of a drupe bachelo mango and coconut mango and coconut and there endocarp is going to be what stony and they will be mc monocarpinary with which type of ovary superior ovary you remember superior ovary and that condition comes under what drupe have you got it okay so if somebody is asking you why If somebody is asking you, what is a fleshy fruit? What is the answer you give for the fleshy fruit? Fleshy fruit, we can distinguish as the endocarp and endocarp. Okay, then the endocarp is stony. Ah, uh, endocarp is stony, and if it is single seeded, it will be called as a drupe. The second type is which type? Which one? A berry. In the case of a berry. it is going to be either monocarpellary or it can be polycarpellary 
But the condition is going to be what which low? Sigma. The ovary can either be superior or it can be inferior. So it is going to be monocarpillary or polycarpillary. Ovary can either be superior or inferior. And these are many seeded. How are they? Many seeded. Many seeded. Where initially the seeds are attached to the placenta. But as the fruit will mature, the seeds will get scattered in the pulp of the fruit. Pulp samasthana, the part apart consume karto, fruits, the central part, that is called the pulp. Barabara? So, shuruvat mein jo ovules or seeds hai kaam attach rete hai, placent kaam hai. Lekin jaisi se maturity aata hai, what happens? They get dispersed inside the pulp. Okay? Some common examples that I give you from my notes are, tomato, grapes, brinjal, guava, banana. What are the examples I said? Bolo. Tomato, grapes, then you have what? Brinjal, guava, and banana. This will all be included under what? Bolo? Different type of berries. Got it? Okay. Now here, in the case of dry fruits, we are not going to talk about the schizogarpic ones. We'll have indehiscent and dehiscent. Now what is indehiscent and dehiscent? The meaning is, when the fruit wall breaks, who breaks? Fruit wall. Fruit wall breaks. And the seeds are released out. When the fruit wall breaks and the seeds are released, out. it is called dehiscent. Now the score? Yes. So look here. I'll draw it here. This is the fruit wall. And these are what? Seeds. Sir, why are you calling it as a dry fruit? Because I'm not able to not able to what you know? Distinguish. Between whom? Epica, mesocarp, and endocarp. So, as the fruit matures, the wall will break. The break will break. The break will break. The break will break. And what will you release? What will you release, guys? Seeds. So, such a fruit is called as a dehiscent fruit. Okay? If the fruit wall does not break on its own. What do you call it as? Intense. Have we got my point? So you got the difference between dehiscent and indehiscent? What do you mean by dehiscent? The fruit wall will break and the seeds will be released out. That will be called what? The fruit wall does not break. It is called as indehiscent. Okay? In the schizocarpic fruit, the entire fruit gets broken down into smaller, smaller parts, which are smaller carps. Okay? So, in dehiscent, what are the different examples that are given for in dehiscent? You can see the chart and tell me which one. It was Cypsella, it was Caryopsis, it was Ashin, and it was Nut. Okay? In dehiscent, it was Legume, Capsule, Siliqua, Silicula. Okay, you remember only two with that. What is it? One is a legume. Example, you remember P. And the other is capsule. The example you remember is okra. That is the lady's finger. Okay? Legume or capsule. Do you know examples? Dyson. And what will you do in Dyson? That will be all brain over. This is a capsule scale because the capsule has multiple lines of dehiscence which is not in the legume. Do you understand? There are other differences whether the ovary is superior, inferior and all that but the NCRT doesn't mention it. It is just a waste of time if you go into the further details of it. 
what my point so basic thing that is there is in digestion which are types of but i'm not write, writing it again but you know, okay only remember that those foods which will not, not break. break the ones which will break will be called digestion foods so here you have what legumes and a capsule yeah. legume ke example we have a pea and capsule ke example we have a okra the second type of fruit is what aggregate but before that are you clear with the simple fruit yes. all of you understood the simple fruit what is a simple fruit Ready. it's a fruit which is produced from a and the single flower can either be or polyphyletic but sitka sitka was very much agree everybody okay when do you say that it is fleshy and when do you say it is dry fleshy is your tino ko aap kya kar sakte ho identify dry matlab easily identify nahi kar sakte बराबर है फ्लैशी में अपने पास कैटेगरीज है जैसे कि ड्रूप है और बेरीज ओके दोनों में सिंगल सीडेड कौन है और स्टोरी एंडो का किसके पास है एंड एनसीआर डिवेंशन दैट दे शो द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ मोनोर और विद अ सुपीरियर ओके इसके एग्जांपल्स में कौन आएगा मैंगो एंड कोकोनट व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मैंगो एंड कोकोनट In mango, the mesocarp is fleshy and pulpy. In coconut, the mesocarp is fibrous. That is what is called coir. Mango, how is the mesocarp? Fleshy and pulpy. Here it is fibrous. Fibrous. And that is what is called the coir of coconut. क्या कहते हैं इसको? Coir. Coir of coconut. Clear, everybody. The second type. Is which type? Aggregate. Aggregate. Okay. Now, what's an aggregate fruit? In the case of an aggregate fruit, once again, a single flower will develop into what, my children? A fruit. A single flower will develop into a fruit. single fruit. But the difference is, if this one fruit is a union of many smaller fruitlets, it's a union of many smaller fruitlets. So, ये कौन है ऊपर वाला? Fruitlet. ये कौन है? Fruitlet. दो तीन चार पांच छह सात आठ आठ क्या बनाया मैंने Fruitless. तो ये सारे फ्रूटलेट्स का एग्रीगेशन है ये सारे फ्रूटलेट्स का क्या है एग्रीगेशन का मतलब क्या होता है जमा होना तो सारे फ्रूटलेट्स क्या होते हैं चलो जमा हो जाते हैं तो हम लोग उसको क्या बोलते हैं एग्रीगेट यू गॉट माय पॉइंट सो एन एग्रीगेट फ्रूट इज अ सिंगल फ्रूट बट इट इज मेड अप ऑफ मेनी Yes. Fruitlets and this fruit has come from how many flowers? Yes. Single flower. The only difference is now that single flower, it is going to be polycarpellary and what? Apocarpus. How is it going to be? Polycarpellary apocarpus. Polycarpellary apocarpus. Here it was polycarpellary apocarpus. Now these fruitlets, these fruitlets. They can either be itarios of berries, itarios of droops, itarios of ashes. Then, three dia tha na. Isme se ek apni ko dhyan rakhna hai. Who is that? Itarios of berries. Kisi baat karo mai? Itarios of berries. Dekho dobara chart mein three diye the mai. See the chart of yesterday. You had, I had given you three. Yes or no? And one of them was Italios of berries. Let us talk about Italios of berries. Look at this. Who is this? One flower. ये तो तुमको समझाने के लिए चाहिए ना बना कराओ. एक क्या है? Flower है. अब एक flower के अंदर एक ovary के बहुत सारे ovaries हैं. ये तो नहीं बात था ना क्या क्या सर बहुत सारी ओवरीज़ हैं ऐसे इमेजिनरी डायग्राम बना रहा हूँ 
तो ये एक ओवरी के बहुत सारी ओवरीज है बहुत सारी है ना और अब देखिए कि सबके सब ओवरीज फ्यूज है कि फ्री है मतलब कौन सा कंडीशन है अब इनका फर्टिलाइजेशन हो गया जिसकी वजह से अपने को मालूम है ना सारी ओवरीज थैलामस पे अटैच होती है याद है थैलामस होता है आया ना लिसन यूर एवरी ओवरी हैज डेवलप इनटू अ फ्रूटलेट एवरी ओवरी हैज डेवलप इनटू अ फ्रूटलेट व्हाट इट सो हु इज दिस फ्रूटलेट हु इज दिस फ्रूटलेट हु इज दिस फ्रूटलेट एंड ऑल द फ्रूटलेट्स आर कवर्ड बाय a common covering which is called as the rind what do you call the common covering rind rind r i n d rind so what the common covering called rind now is it a fruit or many fruitlets many, many fruitlets fruit fruit so can i say it is a fruit with many, many fruitlets fruit so it is a jama aggregation of fruitlets fruit fruit so ye hai fruit jiska naam hai कस्टर्ड एप्पल अनोना स्क्वामोसा क्या होता है उसको अनोना स्क्वामोसा मतलब कौन तो जब मैं इसको कस्टर्ड एप्पल को खोलता हूँ तो डू आई सी वेरी स्मॉल स्मॉल व्हाट फ्रूटलेस ईच फ्रूटलेट विल हैव इट्स ओन सीड एंड एवरी फ्रूटलेट दैट आई एम ईटिंग एम आई ईटिंग द एंटर फ्लावर और एम आई ईटिंग ओन I have eaten the whole flower with all its ovaries that have changed into a fruitlet. Understood? So, custard apple का एक दाना लिया मैंने खा लिया. मतलब मैंने क्या खा? एक ovary जो किस पे change हुई थी? Fruitlet. और पूरा custard apple खाया मतलब मैंने पूरा एक flower खा लिया. जो एक पूरा fruit है. जिसके अंदर बहुत सारे क्या है? Fruitlets. I hope the class is following. Yes or no? Pakka, all of you. So that fruit will be called as which fruit? Aggregate. Clear, all of you. What is the third type, guys? What is the third type? It's a composite fruit. Right, everybody? I'll write it again. Right. I said that a typical fruit shows the presence of a Seed and it shows the presence of a fruit ball, which is also called as the peri cup. And the peri cup got divided into epi cup, meso cup, and the endo cup. Right, everyone. Now I'm talking about which type of fruit, kids? Composite. Composite fruit. But I hope you're clear up to here. Okay. There are many types within the subtypes. I am only choosing those which are related to your syllabus. What my boy? So did you understand the difference between dehiscent and indehiscent? जो पकने के बाद टूट जाता है वो कौन है? Dehiscent. नहीं टूटता वो कौन है? Indehiscent. Indehiscent. Multiple line of dehiscence किसमें होती है वो चलो? Capsule. Capsule के example में कौन है? Okra. Legume के example में कौन है? Pea. अलग अक्षर सरोवर एक पर इंदर। तो आई प्रोसीड। Who is it then next? पूछ लो। Composite। In a composite fruit, the fruit develops from an entire inflorescence। मतलब Look here at this diagram that I am trying to draw, and tell me, <coughs> is it one flower or is it many flowers? Many. One flower or many flowers? Many. many flowers. And all these many flowers, they develop <coughs> into what we call they are developing into a big what we call fruit. And this fruit also has. Okay, do you see this picture? <coughs> what this one fruit has? Fruitless. Many smaller fruitlets. But did you get the difference? Here, one fruit is coming from 
So one fruit led will be one flower. And here the entire fruit was coming from and one fruit led was one Alaksha, it's a classical example that I like to give is jackfruit. This is called Marathi mein fadas bolte hai. Hindi mein usko kathal bolte hai. Okay? So I cut the fadas. So when I'm cutting the fadas, I'm cutting one flower and entire inflorescence. Entire inflorescence. Which has come together to form one fruit. fruit. And do you see the green color ka red? Spiny red? I cut that. Now I'm eating one. But when I'm eating, I can't eat the whole thing. I have to remove the associated parts of the flowers. Bahar ka wo sepal, pepal jo bhi hai. Then I eat the fruit. So when I'm eating that one fruit leg, what am I eating? One fruit. Which I develop into a fruit. Whereas when I'm eating one part of the anonymous formosa, what am I eating? One over the What my point? Now depending upon the type of inflorescence, depending upon the type of inflorescence. The details of the type of influence are still we are supposed to do it. Okay? So remember there are two types be. One type is called psychonus. And the other type is called what? Sorosis. Okay? Psychonus example me kya hai Fig. Anji is called. And the type of influence that develops from that is called hypanthodium inflorescence. So as of now you will just remember it at the time of inflorescence you will be told about. So depending upon the type of inflorescence how many types of composite fruits are there? How many types of composite fruits are there? Two. What are two types? Psychonus and sorosis. Psychonus ke example bhi kya Fig. Aur fig kaha se develop hota hai? A type of inflorescence which is called as the hypanthodium inflorescence. Second type is who? Sorosis. Is ke andar examples mein aata hai aapka? Pineapple. Then you got a jackfruit. You got a fruit called mulberry if you have heard of it. Mulberry. Hai na? Never heard of mulberry? And these develop from a type of inflorescence which is called catkin or a spike type of inflorescence. Alaksha, okay, I'll asterisk this part, but they are yet to come. I hope you got it, everybody. So, in a, in a composite fruit, the entire fruit is developing from many flowers. So it is developing from an inflow. So students, I'll, okay, for the recording, I will speak out some fruits. I'll talk about their types and the edible parts that we consume. So the first fruit is the lady finger. Is it? Who is it? Lady finger. Okay, commonly lady finger is fruit or bhaji? Bhaji. I told you that it is not in botany, it is not in vegetable. या तो तुम रूट है लीफ है स्टेम है या तो फ्रूट है या तो सीड है भाजी करके नहीं है बोलते वेजिटेबल नहीं मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स सो भिंडी का भाजी बोलते हैं अभी से क्या बोलेंगे भिंडी का फ्रूट है समझा मेरा बात सो भिंडी का फ्रूट का कौन सा पार्ट हम लोग कहते हैं होल फ्रूट व्हिच टाइप ऑफ फ्रूट डज इट बिलोंग टू कैप्सूल देन चीकू सपोटा Chiku to suna chiku. Mm -hmm. Chiku is also a berry. Chiku is also a berry. Which part of chiku do we eat? We eat the mesocarp and the endocarp. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then, cashew nut. It is a nut. Okay? It's a nut. And you know what? Which it's a false fruit. It's a false fruit. Which is upar wala part or upar wala part? जिसको अपन काजू बोलते हैं अरे खालसा पार्ट ऑफ सोडा जिसको बोलते हैं काजू ची नट नट है ना डेट काजू काजू फ्लेश वो हैव यू ईटेड दैट डू यू गेट इट दैट इन सामने नो 
रेडिश येलो इन कोंकण भी गेट इट व्हिच रो सो दैट इज जूसी पार्ट ओके दैट इज द पेडेंट फ्लैशी वर्ड पेडेंट नीचे का पार्ट इज द फ्रूट ग्रीन वन जिसको अपन भासते हैं और वो फोड़ते हैं फिर अंदर से वो नट देन पाइनएप्पल पाइनएप्पल तो बताया मैंने व्हिच पार्ट हुई व्हाट इज द पाइनएप्पल पार्ट सोरोसिस बोलते हैं उसको बराबर है एनोनस को हमसा को एटारियोस ऑफ बेरीज ओके अच्छा एटारियोस ऑफ बेरीज कस्टर्ड एप्पल में हम लोग क्या खाते हैं मिजोकार्प एंड द थैलामस मतलब वॉल खाते हैं उसका जो पल्पी बन चुका है वाइट कलर का सीताफल का जूस बनता है ना उससे देन डू यू ईट वट यू कॉल दैट बीटल नट बीटल नट सुपारी सुपारी खाया तुम लोग सो सुपारी का जो फ्रूट होता है उसको क्या बोलते हैं बेरी और उसको कौन सा वाला पार्ट खाते हैं हम लोग अंदर वाला एंडोस्कोम वाला पार्ट खाते हैं सीप खाते बाकी फुल सुपारी बच्चों नारियल की जैसी रहती है ऊपर उसको निकाल के अंदर का सुपारी खाते हैं ना तो उसका कौन सा पार्ट खाते हैं सीड खाते हैं ऐसे यू हैव गॉट मेनी ओके इन द केस ऑफ कोकोनट कोकोनट इज अ टाइप ऑफ अ ड्रू व्हिच पार्ट ऑफ कोकोनट डू वी सीड ना एंडोस्पोर और डू ईट द मिजोकार पल्सो ईट द मिजोकार कोयर खाते हैं तुम लोग ओके इज अ सो मेनी थिंग्स ओके ठीक है कॉपी दिस डाउन नाउ Take out the first page of your notebook, morphology of flowering plants, and see that I got seed ka embryo that I had explained. See the part we had mentioned, tigella, cotyle down in the roots, embryo axis. ऑलरेडी नो आई टू डी दट फ्रूट आर मेड अप ऑफ A fruit wall that is called as the perica, and the seed. And you already know that the seed shows the presence of khana pina. What is that khana pina called? Which one? Endosperm. And shows the presence of an embryo. Depending upon the number of cotyledons. The embryo is classified as a dicot embryo and a monocot embryo. <coughs> Give me yes or no. Yes. Endosperm, as you already know, in angiosperms, it is always triploid. Why, sir? Because it is a product of double fertilization, in which takes place a process which is called as triple fusion. Where the male gametes unite with a secondary nucleus, results in the formation of a triploid primary endosperm nucleus. In gymnosperm, it is always haploid. It is a part of the female gametophyte. In angiosperm, it is always triploid. Right? Gymno haplo. Here it is triplo. There it is a part of the female gametophytic generation, and here it is a product of double fertilization. Now, endosperm is also known as albumin. What do you call it? Albumin. albumin. Now, there are two possibilities. That the seed is a non-endospermic seed, also known as X albuminous. And the other type is, it is called as an endospermic seed. Or albuminous seed. So, what are the two types of seeds? Which one? 
non endospermic that is exalbumins endospermic which is albumins okay here the first type what is it exalbumins that is non endospermic okay what do you mean by that sir that this is the tiffin box that your mama gives you okay and this is you the thin you okay you are the embryo and this is your khana pina that your mom has given you that is your endosperm so who is this endosperm tiffin box endosperm who is this embryo that is you but you are a good girl you are a good boy you know what you do you finish the entire different box as a result of which now this is you <laughs> okay so is the khana pina left now no so what has become the cotley dolls your pay the cotley dolls has become fleshy and the endosperm has become papery what it other possibility you are very nakhre wala eater you want this and you want that as a result of you know what will happen you will be like this only okay you will not finish the food and the food will be still there be in the endosperm so now in the final seed endosperm will be present or not present present your final seed endosperm is present or not present not present so now in endospermic seeds will have cotyledons which are papery and the endosperm which is fleshy so in an endospermic seed where is the khana stored in endospermic seed where is the food stored is the cotyledon in the endosperm endosperm in non endospermic food we are seeing where is it stored which one on the point a good example an easy one is pea and a example over here is makkai that is your maize pakka you have already studied the dicot seed isn't it i have taught you first lecture itself do i do you want me to do it again quickly tell me the embryo axis tigella cotyledonary nodes hypocotyle epicotyle give you right right now let us talk about a monocot seed of maize what is the common name of maize bachcho makka makkai what is the color of the maize grain commonly yellow that yellow part <coughs> is called hull i want as a hull what is a hull it's a fusion of perica plus the seed coat it's a fusion of what which lo perica and the seed coat and here there is a proteinaceous layer cells having a lot of proteins there which is called alveolar layer and this alveolar layer helps in the process of seed germination by releasing certain enzymes like alpha amylase plant growth mein padhenge aap log and inside you will see the presence of the starchy endosperm so the outermost covering is the outermost covering is the hull what is the hull it's a fusion of perica and the seed coat within that there is a alveolar layer which encloses the yeah alveolar layer which encloses the endosperm alveolar layer can help in the process of seed germination by releasing an enzyme called alpha alpha, alpha amylase there is an epithelial layer over here and do you see this this is a shield shaped cotyledon called scutellum it's a single 
शील्ड शेप्ड वर्ड वो चलो कॉटली डॉट वो लोग बोले स्क्यू टेलम क्या बोला चला देन यू हैव प्लीमियन एंड रैडिकल प्लीमियन एंड रैडिकल एंड the plumule is covered by coleoptile and the radical is covered by coleoriza the plumule is covered by coleoptile the radical is covered by coleoriza this is a typical monocot seed of maize okay let's go switch it off